Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We just passed 790 subs. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I hope I can continue to make great content you guys will enjoy in the future. Now, the Indiana Hoosers, they just landed another transfer. It might not be the big splash transfer portal edition Hoosier fans are looking for, but Anthony Walker, a forward from the Miami, Florida Hurricanes, has decided to transfer to the Indiana Hoosers. I'm going to go over whether I think Anthony Walker can have success with Indiana next season, whether I think he can help the Hoosers be a better team overall next year. Now, Anthony Walker, he's a guy that's played for four seasons for the Miami Hurricanes, so he is going to be in his last season of college basketball, and I think that's a big thing that Mike Woodson wants. He wants guys that only have one year of eligibility left, that have a lot of experience, and that they're going to be able to come in and then be with the program for one year, and then the Hoosers are really going to focus on that 2024 class. So I think getting Anthony Walker for only one season, especially as a big depth piece will be big for the Hoosers and I'll explain why. He's a six foot nine, 215 pound forward. Anthony Walker is and he played really well for the Miami Hurricanes over four seasons off the bench. He's not a guy that's going to come in and be a starter for any program at the power five level more than likely and he will not start for Indiana next season but the Hoosers do not need him to and he averaged 2.8 points per game, 1.2 rebounds and 0.3 assists per game and he shot 42.3% from the field, 12.5% from the three point line and 63.6% from the free throw line. Those numbers are not that great. You would like that free throw number to be higher and the three point shooting percentage is abysmal but he's probably not going to be a guy shooting that many threes and he might have more opportunities to shoot threes next season in the Big Ten especially if Indiana does run some pick and pop plays with him but again Anthony Walker his addition is not about him being able to score a lot of points for the Hoosers next season. Indiana if you look at their front court yes they're losing Logan Duncan and Jordan Geronimo to the transfer pool. Both players are gone but Indiana also is losing Trace Jackson Davis and Ray Thomas. Thompson. That is four players that were forwards or centers for the Hoosers that are gone. And Trace Jackson Davis was a program legend, one of the best players in college basketball the past four years for the Hoosers. So you have to replace that talent. Indiana is bringing in center transfer Khalil Ware from the Oregon Ducks. Khalil Ware is a really talented player. He was a former five-star recruit. And he still has a lot of potential to maybe get drafted in this next year's class, which again, I think is huge for Mike Woodson. He wants to bring in guys that might only be with the program for a year. And Khalil Ware is a talented player that could be a great look for the Hoosers if he can go pro the next season, but he might not be what Trace Jackson Davis was able to provide by no means next year for Indiana, but Khalil Ware will definitely be a really good player for the Hoosers, should definitely improve on his six points per game and have a lot of success in the post for the Hoosers next season. And also, Indiana's bringing in Pate Sparks, the former Ball State center. I think he'll be able to come in and back up Khalil Ware off the bench for the Hoosers at the five position. And Indiana also has Malik Renew coming back. So if Malik Renew can improve at the four for the Hoosers next season and be a guy that averages probably double digit points, maybe 10, 11 points per game, and his soft more season for Indiana. Khalil Ware can come in from Oregon, average about the same 10-11 points per game to start at center. Then Anthony Walker can be the backup power forward and Peyton Sparks can be the backup center. And if both guys average around 5 to 6 points per game for Indiana next season, especially Peyton Sparks, I think he'll probably average more than Anthony Walker, then you can kind of tell how Anthony Walker's addition is really important. I know the Hoosers want guards and wings, and I don't think Mike Woodson's done in the portal, but Anthony Walker is definitely a player that Indiana needed to have because they only have three front court players for next season. And Caleb Banks, he's an undersized forward at that power forward spot. He's probably going to be a guy that more plays at the three position next season for Indiana. And he's a guy that could improve overall. But you want Caleb Banks to be in his natural position. I think he should be at the three. So Anthony Walker, he definitely is an insurance policy player, a depth piece for Indiana next season because he'll be able to back up Malik Renew. And now the Hoosers have a loaded front court yet again. And even though, again, I know the Hoosers want guards and wings, and they do need them because Indiana's roster is still thin. The portal's not done yet, and Indiana has some big players that they might be getting, but as is Anthony Walker's addition will definitely help shore up the front court depth. You're now going to have four really talented players in Paint Sparks, Anthony Walker, Malik Renew, and Khalil Ware all in the front court for Indiana next year. If Anthony Walker is the guy that's the least productive for Indiana transferring in from Miami, that goes to show you that Indiana's front court is really deep and will be definitely be ready for the Big Ten next season. But Indiana, I don't think they're done in the portal. Jordan Dingle, a guard from Penn, is looking at Indiana. I don't know if he's going to go to the Hoosers but he's a guy that Indiana is looking at. He was the second leading scorer in the country last season at Penn University. And if Indiana is able to land him or even some other guy in the portal, there's a lot of guards still entering the portal by the day. And Indiana is also
also looking at small forward McKenzie Mbako from the Duke Blue Devils. He decommitted from Duke when Kyle Filipowski decided to return. That is big news to have a really good player like McKenzie Mbako, a five-star recruit, decommit this late in the game, especially for programs that still need players. And yes, he's looking at other schools like St. John's, Kansas, and also Louisville as well. But Indiana definitely needs a spot at that three. So Miller Cop, he is gone. He is no longer with the program. He's out of eligibility. He was solid at the three this past season. But if you're able to land McKenzie and Baco at the three, that will be fantastic for the Hoosers next season. And probably be the most talented player that Indiana's had at that three spot since at least OG Ananobi. And maybe even further back, you would have to go for Indiana. So Mike Woods is not done in the portal yet. Again, the Indiana is definitely going to need patience. The fans are going to have to hope Mike Woodson does land some players. But I don't think Mike Woodson is done. Indiana is still looking at a lot of great players. And they just got great news recently with the return of Xavier Johnson for a sixth season of eligibility. The NCAA granted him that. Trey Galloway is returning as well. So Indiana has almost every roster spot filled except they probably need another guard and they need a player at that three spot. McKenzie Mbako could be that player. Jordan Dingle could be another guy at the two spot for Indiana. But I'm really liking the Hoosers roster overall if they can get another player or two that's really talented. I know Anthony Walker is not the player that Hoosier fans were looking for to be entering the transfer pool and committing to the Hoosers. They really want that splash addition. But maybe Anthony Walker will be yet another guy that Indiana brings in just to be able to wait until they finally get that big player or two at the guard or wing position. And if Indiana does, they could have a top 25 team next season. And maybe even be better than last year because they'll be more team oriented. You'll have a really good player at every position if that's the case. If Indiana can land a player like Jordan Dingle and McKenzie and Baca. But it's a lot of questions we're going to have to see. Indiana definitely still has holes on its roster. But one of the holes that they had that no one was really talking about was a backup four. Indiana needed a backup four. And getting an experienced player like Anthony Walker, a guy that just played in the final four. So he has NCAA tournament experience. Indiana does not have a lot of players that do have a lot of NCAA tournament experience experience outside of this past season where Indiana did make the tournament. So I think Anthony Walker is a great boost to Indiana's program. Coming over from Miami, he's had NCAA tournament experience, and he has had success at Miami the past few years. Yes, he's not a guy that shoots really well from three, and he's not the greatest free throw shooter in the world, but if he's a guy that can average around four to five points per game for Indiana off the bench, backing up Malik Renew, and can give another body for Malik Renew, Khalil Ware, and Peyton Sparks to all bang against in practice, then at the very least, he's definitely a great guy that will be able to provide a lot of depth and experience for the Hoosers next season. And if Mike Woods is not done in the portal, and if Indiana can fill up the last roster spots that they have holes at through the transfer portal and the players that are decommitting from the high school ranks that are still at this stage of the game, there's still plenty of time left for Indiana to get players. Indiana could have a fantastic roster next season, be a dangerous team in the Big Ten. But Indiana, as it stands, their roster is starting to take shape. They're starting to fill it up. They only have two roster spots left. And I feel like Indiana has done a great job filling up their front court, bringing in three really good transfers in Anthony Walker, Pate Sparks, and Khalil Ware. Anthony Walker, probably the least of the three, but he's still a guy that will definitely be a good depth piece for Indiana next season. If Indiana can get some more players, they could be really great next season, especially if they get good players at the guard and wing positions. But as is, I think Anthony Walker, even though he's not the portal player Indiana fans were looking for at this stage of the game, he's definitely going to be a good depth piece for the Hoosers next season. And if he does improve on his three points per game that he had at Miami this past year and really shows his athleticism driving in the lane, he's definitely a guy that's really athletic and get to the rim. And he does some special things for the Hoosers next season, then he'll definitely be an asset versus a lot ability for Indiana overall next season, especially if the Hoosers continue to get more portal players before this offseason is done. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below what you think about Anthony Walker transferring to Indiana from Miami, whether you think he'll be a good depth piece for the Hoosers next season, whether you think Mike Woodson is doing a good job in the portal, and whether you think he will be able to fill the last two roster spots for the Indiana Hoosers before the offseason is done. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description, and I'll see you next time.